Hello film dudes and dudettes, it's Nick here and it's only literally just now occurred to me that I want to make um, ongoing production diaries and vlogs I guess for the next short film that I'm making in just literally four weeks time actually or four weekends time we're shooting late April and it's called The Cure and I've uh, only just thought to really shoot these things on my phone they're not going to look the best they're probably not going to sound the best but uh, hopefully give you some insight into what we're up to and um, hopefully give you some info so you can keep your eyes peeled so today it's a Sunday it's uh, coming up to midday and I've taken a trip out to what I hope will be our one of our outdoor scenes where our group of um, characters and survivors fight their first zombie um, so I've come to this location a few times but more than anything I just wanted to come one last time make sure I was happy with I guess the area uh, how noisy or quiet it's going to be because we, we're not going to have control in um, how much we can stop and start traffic and things like that so so hopefully it's not not too busy and it's as I said it's coming up to midday so it should give us an idea on the kind of uh, info we can expect when um, when we're actually filming. So let's get out, have a look. So as you can see, it's pretty pretty good looking uh, sort of lagoon area. I like the fact that you've got water, you can actually see over my shoulder here. Um, there's you know, lot, lots of stuff to sort of um, raise the stakes for our characters fighting the zombie and uh, the fact that they're surrounded by water. The downside, as you can probably hear, is it's pretty noisy. So the lagoon around here is sort of surrounded by traffic on all sides. And we're shooting on Sunday, which is the day after Anzac Day, which happens to be the centenary of Anzac Day. But can't really rely on that for people to get, uh, you know, a bit too carried away with their... Um, their celebrations and uh, paying their respects. Um, so, it, I mean, now it sounds okay, but of course it's always pays to have a secondary sort of location in mind, but I, I really love the idea of filming in, in there, but I don't know if that's entirely doable. So here we go, uh, a few minutes from where I was previously, probably about a five minute drive, um, but as you can sort of see, as I do a bit of a 360, a lot quieter. Um, you know, the downside to a location like this is that um, I, I certainly want it to feel kind of built up and like it could be, you know, just just behind me could be, um, you know, a street and a, or a industrial sort of area. Um, so, so that's always the trade-off, but it certainly is a lot more controllable in, in terms of traffic, except for that guy. Oh, well. Um, and there's also a big sports field over here, so I don't know if anyone will be playing there. But it, as I said, it's always good to have a backup. There's some nice areas over there, so I might have a bit of a wander. And um, yeah, this might be a good backup location if 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 I'm not confident with the first. So anyway, that's an update on, I guess, what I'm doing today for The Cure. See ya. So I think the final thought I had really was, um, I, I think, you know, a, a big part of if you're trying to create a... A kind of environment that there's no other inhabitants in you know that's very very tough to do and and we, even in a quieter you know area like this second park i've come to um you can only control the environment so much there's still going to be planes flying around there's still, still going to be cars driving around in the far far distance so so an option will always be well you can adr it that's when you replace the the dialogue of your actors uh, in post-production but where possible, I want to avoid that because you can, you'll never get that 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 the same kind of performance um, as as on the day and as you know as real as, as and as genuine as as they were on the day. So that's really the the probably the biggest I guess obstacle is creating this world for the cure with obviously no budget um, or very low budget in a world that is constantly constantly busy and developing. Uh, so let's see how it turns out.